Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to continue the cooling down process of our cargo tanks. This is part two, which we have uh, left since last uh, Saturday was part one. So now we're going to uh, start and continue the process together with uh, some second mates who have attended our CCR. Well, right here with us in the CCR, we do have two second mates, uh, Mike and Mikla, who have uh, came here in order to uh, see the cool down process on the free time. So during this operation, it is very good, whoever is out there sailing or preparing to get on board a ship, to remember when we are going to conduct these operations, pop in the CCR, getting the permission of course from the chief officer and uh, review the process together and ask any questions or keep any notes that required. So I have good news. Also, uh, Mike has uh, been promoted to chief officer and uh, Nicola will be next. So that's good to know. And hopefully we'll sail with them uh, soon. So remember to keep a smile on your face and uh, continue being positive during these operations and while you're at sea and work. So off we go. When I was back in the day chief officer, we used to perform cool down operations also alongside the terminals. Uh, this is about a 10 hours operation where you are in a warm state, uh, meaning that your temperatures are about 20 to basically 20 to 25 degrees Celsius plus inside the tanks so you will need about 10 hours roughly in order to cool down the tanks to um, the uh, permit to load uh, levels which is 130 minus 130 degrees celsius and to allow and to allow the uh, liquids the cargo to put it inside the tank to load it um, that was done back in the days it's still done on many um, on many terminals but the issue is that uh, there is more time for a vessel to spend alongside a port which is more uh, commercial uh, pressure and timing and arrangements for these operations. Usually you will find these operations for any vessel which is departing a, a dry dock after the five years departure from a dry dock. Uh, they will need to do all the um, operations that are required uh, gassing up, cooling down and loading the cargo uh, and you may find this in vessels which have been all laid up and they need again to uh, do these operations that I mentioned. They may have been laid up in an anchorage for a year or so uh, or there might be vessels that have loaded and maybe in one month their cargo tanks have reached to uh, but positive temperatures which they will do it there they have not kept heel on board and they will do the operation there so um, that's what we need to know in regards to cooling um, down alongside it is um, it is a simple operation but you need to pay attention in all four tanks about the proper uh, operation of the uh, uh, cool down process uh, uh, Yuri, I, 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 I close the starboard trail of number four now. So now we have only port trail. We will uh, decrease this return to reach to bar. So you can handle number one, I will handle number uh, three. This is throttle return. And after we will put uh, two bar. Oh, and it's easy, we will see how it responds. So now that liquid has uh, came to the cargo tanks, the chief officer. I will print snapshot red, report. We'll be printing out a snapshot report. You'll need to log in. Okay, and he'll print it and it will come out on one of those printers. I think it's that one there. So that's it. Okay, and we'll write down the start of the cooling down. And every half an hour or one hour, he can print out the snapshot reports and he will keep the cargo tank cool down log yes. um, in order to keep it for his filing. So, everyone now. Good. The pre 
pressure which is larger um, to two bars, you're doing you're performing a better cool down, uh, meaning it's going to be a faster one, because what you're doing is you're pressurizing your liquid, the LNG, inside the nozzles with a higher pressure. So what you're going to do actually is going to spray down the tank faster. If you have it on one bar, it's okay, it is achievable, but it's going to take more time. Um, and it's not going so fast as it would go with two, as you understand. So what I believe we're going to do today is two bars, that's correct, Chief? Yes, two bars. Okay. Approximately two bars, 1.8 to two bars. Okay. And in the beginning, since this is the first time call down for uh, this operation, we will need to uh, pay attention that the liquid that we're supplying inside the tank is utilized appropriately inside the tank because if you are at 4,000 kilograms uh, sucking the uh, vapor pressure from inside, you don't allow actually the vapor to travel and the liquid to travel inside the tank as it would do at the current, the current situation that we have, which is about 1,800. So what I mean is uh, 600 on each uh, engine, uh, kilos, and about 500 on the diesel generators. So that makes, if I'm correct, 1,700, but yeah, these are just small figures that are varying from every uh, second that we're talking on. Uh, also, in addition, uh, now during cooling down, we have to check uh, two more things. Okay. Uh, one is the temperature on the heating system between cover dams. Okay. To be in operation and uh, appropriate set point and temperature. And the other is the uh, IBS. Yes, that's correct, the IBS. The IBS. Now, due to cooling down, we increase the header, the main bar controller, to 450. And we will observe the IBS pressure. And if it's necessary, we will in increase the uh, difference between IBS and IS by 3 millibar. Okay. So also, during cool down, we have to monitor in these two parameters here, IBS, IS pressure. Good. There are some times that when you do the, uh, the cool down operation, you may require also to go and open the bypass valve, the IBS bypass valve, in order to bring the required difference between the uh, IS, IBS to the uh, required uh, pressure. So you, may, you have to know uh, where this valve is located, where the IBS bypass valve is located. And it's not only that one. Basically, you'll need to know all the valves if you're in charge of cargo operations, which yes. these guys here are, and I have been in the past. Uh, you have to be aware where the valves are located on board your cargo system. Correct. So. Okay, Yuri, you can increase a little bit uh, set point. Uh, you handle the valve in manual so yes. far, eh? Okay. Yes. All right. You can change in auto. The return is easy. Uh, check first the controller. Before you put in auto, put the PID in manual. Okay, I will arrange. Yes, just increase the set point okay. to reach uh, on the nozzle to bar, approximately. To bar. It's around, let's say, 2.7, set point 2.5.
So now the pressure has almost built up to two bars. It's 1.89 on cargo tank number four, 1.81 on cargo tank number two. Yes. Uh, we will achieve the required one for two days cool down, which is at two bars approximately. As I said, if it's two decimal zero one or 199, doesn't matter. Uh, what you need to pay attention is that you need to uh, check that everything is working in good order and perform the operation safely and cool down your tanks to be uh, to prepare them day by day to be ready to load. We accommodate the cool down process well ahead. We don't do it on the last minute, uh, especially if you're in a warm condition. You will need to consume all the pressure, all the gas from the tanks to your engines or to your GCU. Uh, or if you have a reliquifaction plant, you may take this uh, over excess gas and you may do it again into liquid. Um, there have been instances that we have performed cool down operations four days prior. And while you're performing this operation, you will need to ensure that easy, easy, day by day, you're doing it on a safe manner. So it's a Saturday today, so the engineers have also uh, perform, they are also performing the, uh, their tests on the bilges, so that's why you hear the alarm on the background. Um, we also did our today Saturday's test, that's correct? Yes, correct. So you may spend also Sundays, which also tomorrow you will be here calling down to prepare right. the vessel to be load ready. It's an operation that can be for one or two hours per day, depending the uh, plan schedule, how we have arranged everything to be done for this um, process. So now we observe IBS pressures. Let me show uh, to your viewers here. IBS pressures. Yes. If decreasing uh, a lot, we have to uh, set up to maintain the okay. pressure and the difference between these two. All right. And we check uh, here the, the pressures. Here is the average, uh, sorry, temperature. Yeah. Here is the average temperature, which uh, at the end uh, should be at least minus 130. Okay. Uh, in regards to the temperatures, can you explain us what are these temperatures at? So this is temperature sensors yeah. from the top. How many do we have bottom. inside the tank? It's five. It's five. We have five A and uh, we have spare ones too. Of course, back up. Five yeah. more back up. All and right. This is the average of all temperature sensors. Okay. So, so we need this average temperature should be minus 130 in order the vessel to be ready to load. All right. And if you have liquid in the bottom, uh, which is that one there, which is showing, then... These temperature sensors will uh, give... Uh, liquid. Liquid value. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you which can see is... Here. This is all the temperature sensors. Here you see that is vapor, mostly. Yeah. If you have liquid, this it will change to this. Yeah, and uh, as I remember correctly, um, these ones here, if you have liquid, these one, three, uh, four here, one, two, three, four, which are the 30%, 60%, 95%, and the top will be the one on average counting the average vapor temperature. It's not going to count the lower one, which will have liquid when you have liquid inside the tank. Correct. Yes. So, Chief, thank you uh, for today's operation, uh, for explaining us. Yeah, we may uh, see later on the completion what we have achieved for the day. Okay. Um, we may do two cool-down operations today. Yes. The initial one is this one, which after, we now expect the pressure to drop in the beginning and then start rising. Uh, see a good difference on our temperatures. What's your target for today? Minus? Around minus 100. Okay, that's good. That's good. And... Um, the reason we're doing the cool down now is because the vessel is going to proceed to anchorage and we don't want to be uh, on anchorage and consuming the gas mostly on the GCU. We will start it of course, but 
since we are here on board and we can consume it for propulsion purposes, it's better for us to um, consume it uh, more environmental friendly and energy, energy efficient uh, to the vessel's engines. So, that's the reason. Do you have any uh, trends that you, uh, you check during the operation? Yes, I have uh, trends prepared here. Okay. This is uh, uh, tank pressures. Yeah. This is it's not need this, this is levels. This we don't need. Mostly we need this. All right. Tank press. But also the temperature sensors, yeah. Okay, very good. Hey guys, uh, this episode has came to an end. I hope you liked it. This was the uh, cool down operation of uh, cargo tanks. This was the part two, uh, which was performed with two spray pumps from uh, two tanks into another two tanks, which is not often uh, performed on board, on board because we usually have the hill inside one cargo tank. So this instance, we had it in two. So I hope you uh, liked it and you got some uh, good information out of it. So. If you feel that um, there is something you would like to ask about this operation, please write a comment below and I'll reply back to it as soon as possible. So safe seas to all of you sailing out there and uh, see you on the next episode. Till next time, bye bye.